Yes, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. And we wake up today, and I'm recording this at exactly 10 to 11, Greenwich Mean Time, 100 hours. No, 5 to 11, basically. And we have a new Prime Minister. Goodbye, Boris. We've got a new Doris. Well, Liz Truss. Uh, let's see how she gets on. I, I met Liz Truss once when I was uh, running a veterans charity, and... Um, and I wasn't over-impressed, to be awful. And she wasn't over-impressed with me, to be fair. And I believe she gave me the impression, because she did nothing, that she didn't think that veterans deserve any more help than, uh, than anybody else, even though they've risked their lives for their country. That's up to her. That's what she thinks. But she's a great one for changing her mind. She wanted to scrap the monarchy at one stage. And now, as I speak, she's jetting off to see the 96-year-old person that's given her life in service. Well, Liz, uh, I hope you bow very deeply in front of the Queen that you wanted to get rid of. And I also uh, believe you should also go and apologise to all them people from the Liberal Democrats who placed their faith in you, only for you to jump ship. And also the Remainers that you promised to be a good Remainer uh, when it came to Brexit. But now suddenly you think it's a good idea to be Brexit. Well, good luck as being Prime Minister. And I won't hold my breath as to how long uh, you stay in there. What will Boris do? Is he going to copy Trump? Trump's not exactly hiding in the shadows, is he? He's back out of his casket, as they say. And, and I think Boris will do the same. Or maybe Boris will go off and get himself a fantastic job in a newspaper or something like that. Or just earn a few quid. He's a, he's a likeable bloke. And don't forget, everybody, whether you like, if, if, you're, if you're a staunch lefty, you'll hate his guts, like them, the, you know, that Welsh funny person and that fun dabby dozy one. You will hate his guts, but I think he did well. He saved a load of people's lives uh, with the pandemic, and he saved a lot of people's futures by getting us out of that dreadful Europe. We're part of Europe, but we don't want to be ruled by Europe. So Liz, who are you going to pick? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can bet your bottom dollar this is what's going to happen. And I'm quite pleased about one thing. I hope that James Cleverly, my old friend from the Royal Artillery, will be Foreign Secretary. He's very, very good, very switched on. Uh, and let's think as well that now Nadine Doris has resigned, who are they going to put in charge of show business and the media and the culture? We don't know. But and what's Kwasi Kwarteng going to do? Right. Put your house on this. He will get any job he wants. Okay, I think they, I think they, I think she likes him, and uh, and he's a likable bloke. But uh, put your money right. Trust me on this that he will be chancellor. He'll he'll get the top job. Amazing, eh? Well, there we go. Let's see how it all goes. I'm going to nip over to Ustream now. And just by the way, uh, a couple of things. If you're not a member of Ustream, uh, you would not have seen the Ustream 10 years on. There was a little four minute bit on, the, uh, on YouTube, but you can see the whole thing on uh, Ustream. And it's quite daunting. Here is the book that I wrote about it called No Further Action. Now you can buy this even if you're not a member of Ustream. You can go onto ustream.news and hit the shop and buy this. It's a quite a good book. I wrote it all myself. It's, it's still spelling mistakes in it, probably. And, uh, and the profit from this book will go to the veterans charity Care After Combat. OK, Liz, good for you. Right, let's crack on, everybody. All you have to do is give fucking birth. You wouldn't like it if you had to give birth. If we gave birth, we'd fucking drop, pick that up. <laughs> 